the description I have this thing linked. You can go ahead and download this Funk Drum Kit Volume 5 if you want. And this will have all the little things you're going to need specific for this genre. It's got specific 808s, it's got specific chops, specific acapellas, specific closed hats, crashes, effects, all of the above. Kicks, you know, like mixer preset. This one's a fucking awesome, okay? Like, you should go and tweak these further and do them all yourself, but this is going to make mixing so much all easier. Right. So, now that we've written written this beautiful funk melody we need to put some drums behind it i like to start with hats and snares this is going to be a hard funk you know you got some chill funk that's like but uh this is more like a hard funk kind of thing so we're gonna need like a, a an aggressive hat so I like to just leave the fill too, just to get like a an idea for the rhythm. It's a lot like creating trap drums, if you're familiar with that. If you're not familiar with that, I'll still walk you through it. Don't even worry. All right, next is a snare. No. All right, we'll keep it nice and simple while we're just creating this first round. That one hits hard. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna use flex for the 808. It's a free little flex pack you can get. It's like this, so I can use my keyboard as a... As a keyboard thing. More compression. Oh, that's. What about drive? It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Put in the work. Put in the hours and take. Okay. We're gonna work with this for now, and we'll do the rest in probably mixing. Now, if you're concerned because I was doing everything on that and not in the piano roll. That being the pattern drum thing. That's just because I like to get it nice and easy and out in the open. And once we're here, this is where the magic happens. First thing that we're going to add some more variation to is going to be the kick. The bass and the kick interact a lot. So what I normally like to do is I like to syncopate the kick right off of where I want the bass to hit. So it gives a nice bounce to the beat when you uh, play the 808 next to the kick and the kick kind of like reinforces the 808, you know, it's just a, it's a nice sound. Okay, now we're actually gonna go in and make a bass line. This is just uh, this is little kid play right now. Another good thing to check is it's really hard to use your ear on very low notes, so... So, I think right here, what I actually want is the A sharp. I think we're doing a little too drastic of movement on the bass here, because our melody is pretty tame. Let's do some hats. Um, first thing, let's figure out where we want a hat roll. Alright, now that we've decided where we want a hat roll, now let's add a little more sauce to our hat rolls. We do. What if, we what if it said, uh, cheese cocks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I add in, make this like a extended. Okay, that sounds good for now. Uh, let's go and add, add, let's look at percussions and stuff. The only thing that can save this is a little more cowbell. Oh yeah. Yes, 
guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Nah, we need a different thing for that. We need a... Uh...